Today on the show, we're taking a look at the Voltron 84 classic legendary Yellow Lion. So stay tuned. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today we're taking a look at the Voltron 84 classic legendary yellow lion and then we're going to compare him to the Voltron legendary defender legendary yellow lion. So first let's go ahead and move these guys out of the way and we will take a look at the packaging. As you can see here there's the Voltron 84 logo. Beast King Go Lion Voltron himself, fire missiles, the yellow line, classic legendary yellow line, and he does form the left leg of Voltron. Legendary series form 16 inch classic Voltron, combine all, of li all five lines. Now streaming on Netflix, made by Playmates Toys. It does come with the catalog and the instructions. For time's sake, I will not go into those. Uh, there's a synopsis from days of long ago from uncharted regions of the universe comes a legend the legend of voltron defender of the universe a mighty robot loved by good feared by evil voltron 84 classic legendary yellow line hunk is the brawny yet soft-hearted mechanic of the voltron lion force he pilots the yellow lion that forms voltron's left leg here you have the jaw blade you have dual missile launcher and the razor wheel fire missiles 15 plus points of articulation. Playmatestoys.com, Voltron.com. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way here. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at this yellow line here. We'll move that yellow line out of the way. And as you can see, I have him standing slightly different than most guys, most collectors have their Voltron line standing. Most of them will straighten up the legs or bend the legs backwards, that doesn't look very cat-like to me. I've said this a million times before, I like my lions to look cat-like, almost realistic. Um, the other way just, it doesn't look good to me. Here we go. He's got the jaw blade here, which fits in his mouth by this square peg, and that attaches right there behind the front teeth. You've got the twin missile launcher, which you press this button up top here, right here. If you can see. And these do connect to any of the four peg points on his legs. And then you have the spike wheel, which just spins. You have to spin it manually. All right. So let's go over the articulation. It said 15 plus points of articulation. On the blue line, I counted about 12 or 13 points of articulation. Let's see if there's any difference in this guy. All right. You've got the tail, which is one point of articulation. Two points of articulation would be this ray cannon, whatever you want to call it. So that's two points. Okay. One, that's three points. I consider the neck, even though it can, can kind of go side to side, it's not really supposed to. So that's only one point of articulation there. And it's very tight and squeaky. So that's three points of articulation. Four, when you count converting it into leg mode. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen points of articulation. 
So this guy does have somehow, oh, 17 if you include the mouth. So 17 points of articulation on this guy somehow. Unless I miscounted on the blue line. Um, I'm not really sure how I would have managed that. You guys watched me last episode count them all. But 17 points of articulation on this yellow line. And really the only difference would have been this. So I guess I was wrong with the uh, last one. Um, so maybe... I don't know. Anyway, there's the yellow line to transform it. Well, first, let's go ahead and compare him to this yellow line, which came with this disc launcher thingy-majigger. We're going to take that off for right now. All right. As you guys can see, they're at pretty much the same stance. Okay? And they are about pretty close to the same size, except the legendary yellow line, because of this hump on his back, he does stand a little bit taller. As for lengthwise, uh, the tail makes the legendary yellow line a little bit longer. However, if you measure from butt to snout, uh, the classic Voltron yellow line is a little bit longer uh, just measuring from butt to snout uh, measuring tail to snout the legendary yellow line is longer so transform to transform this guy very simple exactly like the blue line tail in legs up head up front legs up and there's the classic yellow line and as you can see this not very good paint job here it got scratched up I haven't really messed with this guy too much so this is how it came out of the package I don't really like that too much but what are you gonna do Uh, for this legendary yellow line, tail in, legs up, head in and up, and then legs up. Just like that. And as I said, in previous episodes you can mix and match these guys with other volt with the other Voltrons uh, so like if you want to have one Voltron have two yellow legs and two green arms you can if you want them to have two blue legs and two red arms you can uh, you can put classic black line with all legendary red green blue and yellow lions as the limbs and legendary black line with all classic lions as the limbs so playmates really did that right to where you can mix and match if you wanted to i really like that idea you have the opportunity to create your own perfect voltron if you wanted to So there you have it guys, the Voltron 84 classic legendary yellow line compared to the Voltron legendary defender legendary yellow line. Um, you can find these at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. Uh, next week on the show, next Thursday, we're going to be taking a look at the Voltron 84, classic, legendary, combinable Voltron in its entirety, as a whole. And we're going to compare him to the legendary, uh, the Voltron Legendary Defender Legendary Voltron Combiner. So make sure you tune in next Thursday for that. I'm Shannon for Comagen TV. Take care, everyone. <laughs>